MVP and Axiom, in my opinion, isn't typically known for their understable molds. I feel like people tend to lean onto that gyro technology when they're looking for something really consistent, stable, and overstable. We're going to be experimenting with some minus two and minus three discs from their lineup today and see how do their understable discs stack up. We have a Neutron Rhythm, we have a Proton Inertia, and we have a Neutron Vanish. We're here at Hornet's Nest. Probably throw two out of three discs on every hole, depending on what's going to be the best for the shot. On hole one, we will throw the Rhythm and the Inertia. I haven't thrown any of these yet, so I'm really excited to see how they fly. The Rhythm is a 7.5 minus two with a one fade. Whoa, okay. That flew really nice. Not a lot of MVP discs I get to just flip up that easily. That was really nice. The Inertia is a 9.5 minus 2.2. Two. Hopefully we get a similar flight to that. That was awesome. Wow. I had no expectations going into this, but I already know I'm going to have a really fun time throwing those two discs. Unbelievable first two shots of the day. This Inertia... So based on the way that it felt, I thought it was going to be a lot more stable, but man, that thing flipped up to absolute perfection and the rhythm did the exact same thing. Um, shout out to Marmoset for the fire tattooster stamp, by the way. Hey guys, pardon the interruption. I just want to give a quick shout out to Disc Golf Deals USA. We have some awesome Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals going on. Wednesday is 20% off all Loof discs and Castaplast discs. Thursday is 15% off Axiom, MVP, and Streamline. Friday is 15% off TSA and Clash. And then Friday to Monday is 25% off Discraft, 20% off Innova and Trilogy, and 10% off the rest of the site site-wide. So make sure you click the link in the description below to access my storefront to make sure you secure all the discounts for yourself. Happy shopping. Let's get back to the video. So the basket is sort of through to where this guy is and then up and over to the right. This Vanish doesn't feel like it's going to be super understable. Although it is a minus three turn, just doesn't really have the profile of a super understable disc. I feel like this wing shape, if it were a bit more convex, I'd be a little bit more convinced. But it's quite concave under the wing, usually leading to a more stable flight. So I do want to give this thing a forehand from here on a hyzer and see what it does out of the hand. Yeah, I get the feeling that one's going to be a lot more stable than the inertia and the rhythm. So after that little test throw, I don't think this is gonna fly like a minus three turn for me. But we've got some really nice, slightly more open par fours coming up. So let's see how this flies when thrown on backhand, nice and flat with full power. All right, we've got a little bit of a right to left tail end coming over this right shoulder here. Let's see how the vanish flies on a little bit more power and on just nice flat backhand line. Oh, wow. Okay, that held the turn for a really long time once it flipped up. It took it a while to flip up, which is really interesting. And I didn't mention before, but this inertia is a 162 gram, which would explain why it's flipping up so much on some of the other throws. Wow, I really like that inertia a lot. So far, I'm really impressed with the lineup so far today. All right, I do want to throw the rhythm and the inertia from the short tees, see if we can really sort of force a left to right moving shot. I think the inertia gets a little bit more turn than the rhythm even. Let's see if we can force it to work. Ah, see? It got turned early in the flight, but still had a little bit of a fade at the end. So the rhythm's not super flippy. That one's a minus two one. This one's a minus two two, but it's super light. Much better shape. Oh man, if that sneaks under the trees, that's gonna get us a nice birdie look. But that inertia, that light weight, the proton plastics getting a really nice extended turn in the mid flight. So far, I'm super impressed with the rhythm, the inertia, and with the vanish. Um, the vanish isn't getting quite as much turn as I was expecting, but we have a few more longer holes out here where I feel like I can really try and stretch some long sort of turning distance shots. Um, the next hole in particular requires a big backhand turnover. So I'm gonna force the issue a little bit and put it up in the air on a good bit of turn. 
see if we can get it to kind of hold that left to right moving line for as long as possible. Pole five, we have another great par four here, 514 feet. All we have to do is just make sure that we turn it sort of the right side of those rocks in the middle of the fairway. Let's see if we can't get the vanish to do something here. Okay, that did not have the height needed, but it definitely got a nice long turn. Let's try the inertia here on this line. I honestly didn't trust that to turn as much as I should have, but I know the inertia is going to turn. That 162 inertia is awesome. That thing is a great flyer. Such easy turn and such easy distance. I also do want to throw the short tee with the rhythm here. Hole fives, about 260 feet, slightly uphill. Let's see if we can just get a nice long left to right moving line. Wow, that was really close to an ace. <laughs> that would have been so nice. I gotta throw the inertia. Oh my gosh. That was smooth. That was so smooth. Make the correction. Oh. Wow. These are some good Frisbees, guys. Very good Frisbees. <laughs> All right, hole six is a 321 foot par three. I didn't trust the Vanish enough. And then on the last hole, I trusted it too much. So I'm gonna try and pop up just a nice flip up hyzer, see if she gets a little fade at the end. And I do, I'm really liking this rhythm a lot at the moment, but I wanna dial in this Vanish first. Not quite the fade I was looking for. I don't think that that's anything more than a one or a two fade. I think it's a, supposed to be a two fade, but might be a one fade, honestly. And we got the rhythm. Wow, okay. MVP's understable lineup is super underrated. They're re flying really well. All right, got another great par four, hole seven, 584 feet. We're gonna try the Vanish and the Inertia. I think with both of these discs, I can pretty much just kind of attack the left side and get a little bit of drift. I need to trust this a little bit more. There it is. Now we're starting to figure out the Vanish. You just gotta put it up in the air and let it do what it's supposed to do. And then the Inertia just gets a hair more turn than that. But again, just you got to just trust them. They're going to do what they're supposed to do. Just put them up in the air, let them fly. What a beautiful fall day. We just tried to ace run the hole, grip lock the pure, hit one of these trees, kicked, drilled the chains, and then unfortunately chained out. Super unfortunate. We have another great par four here on hole eight. Going to do the 162 inertia. This is an awesome disc. We're going straight is a premium. Hole eight is a great example of that. I love how easily I'm getting that to hyzer flip and stand up. It is just so satisfying to throw. Hole 11, 314. We're gonna go with the rhythm here. We need a little bit more stability than the inertia can offer us. As long as we hit the gap, I trust this guy to fade left at the end. That should be, as long as we got the distance, that's the perfect line. We should be absolutely parked. Let's go. The rhythm is more stable than you're gonna expect it to be when you get one. All right, I'm gonna throw a hole 18 here. This is gonna be our last hole of the day. I do wanna give you guys a quick breakdown of what I think of each disc. Starting off with the rhythm, this is a really nice sort of true to flight numbers, seven, five, minus two, one. A lot of minus two fairway drivers and um, control drivers don't have a ton of fade to speak of, but the rhythm definitely has that little bit of bite to the end that you're looking for, very similar to like a Discmania FD. I think this disc is an absolute winner. If you've never thrown one, it's certainly worth trying one. And also in my experience, the Fission version is a lot more domey than these and actually also quite a bit more stable. So this guy's pretty flat, not super duper stable. The Fission one in my experience actually has more bite at the end than the Neutron version. Next up, the Inertia. It's gonna get a bit more turn than the Rhythm, a hair more distance. And honestly, if your arm speed is 60 miles an hour or less, I would highly advise getting one in the low 160s to mid 160s as far as the weights go. 
162, perfect for my arm speed. This is a disc I'm definitely gonna continue experimenting with in the future. Last, the Vanish. Probably my least favorite of the bunch today. A little bit unpredictable for me. It felt like if I trusted it too much, it's gonna turn and burn. But if I didn't trust it enough and put on a little too much hyzer, it's not flipping up at all. I like drivers that are gonna get me an easy flip up in the mid flight, a little bit more like the Latitude 64 Strive that I've really been enjoying. Pretty much no matter how I throw the Strive, it's gonna pop up to straight, give me big distance and then fade at the end. It seemed like on hyzer, this didn't wanna flip up for me very much, but when I did get it to turn, it stayed turned for a very long time. Probably a good disc for max distance and hyzer lines, really high in the air and hyzer out of the hand. Gonna hold that turn for a long ways, get you big distance. Not really a shot that I lean into very often. All right, last hole of the day. We're going to go with the Vanish here. Oh my. All right, I think that's a nice little park job with the Vanish to uh, cap things off today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Stay humble, live with gratitude. See you in the next one. Take care.